Micah. Being with you allows me to be the girl I was as a child, wild and free. I cherish our adventures, whether monumental or minute, whether we succeed or fail. Joy is never a crumb with you. How we explore the woods, marvel at mushrooms and moss with Ellie wherever we go. Scale mountains and roll down hills in the many places we have fallen in love and the countless places we will no doubt explore together. While at home, we learn to shuck oysters or ferment foods or bake bread. We overcommit ourselves in all of our culinary adventures. And oh, we do laugh <laughs> and lift each other up when we stumble or fail or make multiple batches of moldy sauerkraut. Someday we might be famous for our sauerkraut, not this day. Your love for learning is contagious. It knows no bounds. You find deep meaning in the smallest of bird facts, the biggest of life lessons. When anyone engages with you on a topic, you open up a whole world of excitement and wonder, letting them into the complex and beautiful nature of your mind. I vow to always foster your love of learning, to ask you the questions that light up your eyes and your brain. I vow to be patient and caring in the way you care for every living being, in the way you worry the old stoic trees in the park don't have enough friends to communicate with in their mycorrhizal networks. I vow to explore the world with you with an open mind and a compassionate heart. I vow to love you forever in all the ways I have loved you and all the ways I'll learn to love you more. I've loved writing these vows, bringing me to tears, thinking about our love that I could be so lucky to have known you, to get to learn you forever. Mia, there are not enough words and too many. There are not enough words and too many to describe the love that you bring into my life. Electrifying, dazzling, feet off the ground, fractal mandalas of love and excitement and contentment, explosions of laughter and peace. But I do not need all these words. All I need is you. There's not a word for the way you lock your attention on those you are with, arriving fully with a deep care that calms and grounds the room. But I do not need new words. All I need is you. There's not a word for the realization that every one of my romantic ideals about love that I conjured in my youth was wrong. Vast and empty understatements of, all, of the all-consuming light you bring into my life. There's not a word for the sweet, strange sense of loss I feel as I learn that love our love is so much more than I could have dreamed up, trying to invent or summon you out of thin air. I never could have dreamed of you. There are not enough words to capture all you mean to me. Kind, caring, beautiful, best friend, curious, spontaneous, loyal, loving, cozy, weird, fun, free, peaceful, brilliant. But I do not need more words. All I need is you. And I promise that for the rest of my days on this earth, I will do all I can to match the radiant energy of your love, to care as deeply as you do for others, to stay curious and playful, to foster all the things I love about you in myself and our family, to never stop growing and striving to be the best version of myself for you. Because I know that long after our earthly journey has ended, the magic love that we share will continue to change the world. It will live on in our children and our children's children. It will live on in stories and poems and memories of meals and the ancient trees that we will plant and bid farewell in their youth that will grow as symbols of our love forever into the sky as our descendants spread our love across the earth. There are not enough words and too many. Mia, all I need is you. I love you forever. With their vows and the exchange of these rings, Mia and Micah are now married.
When Mia and Micah first met, it was at the perfect venue for attention and astonishment. They met in a data science boot camp, and they were both new to Boston. Before long, their stories began to intertwine, and they began their very long and interesting story of sharing a life together. It's, it's just, it's wonderful. And, and, and it also, I think one of the biggest things that I've learned is, is look at the person's family that, you know, your, your child is, is marrying into. And that becomes a, 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 an element of, of what the, the person is and what they will be. And I got to say one thing. Micah, you've got a lot to live up to. <laughs> you have a lot to live up to because your, your family's great and, and it's great to have our families together. Mia met her perfect match. I don't think I could have described to you who Mia's perfect match was, and neither could she really. He just had to exist, and here he is. I still remember Mia telling me about Micah. She was clearly so excited, and it was as if she knew right away she was stepping into a brighter life where she could be her happy self. Micah, thank you for making my best friend so happy. I love hearing of your adventures and your devotion to one another. Anyone who has met Micah knows immediately he's a good person with a sense of humor and a curiosity for life. I'm so happy to be here to witness you get to marry your new best friend, your match and partner in life. So Mia, welcome to our family. You're one of us. You fit right in. I'm so happy that Micah has found someone as strange and as kind and as brave as he is to share his life with. To Micah and Mia. 